morning everybody. Uh, today I'm quickly just doing the Helix wallet by Trixus Designs. Um, I did a couple of things wrong. So I'm going to tell you what I did wrong now so that you, if you're following the video you can remember. It says size 3 zip and I use size 5. Definitely use size 3 zip. This is just a little bit too thick there. So if you had a size 3 it would sit and a little bit nicer. It's not terrible but it's just it's a lot. So definitely use a size 3 zip. Um, and when I was um, closing the hole here, I stitched the whole way around that piece. You're actually only meant to stitch the top. But apart from that, everything is glorious. And even though I made those tiny errors, I actually still really, really like this. So it's got three different card slots here, and they've got like a fun curve. And then you can put your notes in there. So anyway, uh, if you'd like to see how I make this, stay tuned. Let's get started. I have all of my pieces clipped to the um, templates. Now, the reason for this is because we're really going to need number three. So I'm just going to take the vinyl piece. I'm going to put the fabric piece aside. Now, I'm going to need this to help me line things up. So we are going to take piece number eight next. Now, this is all labeled in the pattern. I'm following it as we go, just off to the side. This is my half printed bowl that holds all of my clips. So we want to take this piece and we want to line it up with the piece here that it says. So a good way maybe to do that would be to cut out this little corner. So we're going to do that. So on the pattern, it's got little like squares. So if I cut out the square that lines up with piece 8, I should be able to line that corner up in there. This feels like a really good idea, as long as I don't wreck the pattern. Okay. Yep, this is going to work. So we're also going to cut out um, the other holes for the other pieces. So I'm going to cut out number 7. Now the only downside to cutting them is that you will no longer be able to see what number they were meant to be, but we can deal with that because we can read the instructions and the instructions tell us. Or you could print another one if you needed to remember and just have it as like a number guide, I guess, or you could write next to it the numbers that would also work. So I'm going to cut out all three of these. Because if I do it now, then I can put the knife away. So we don't care as much about the, um, the sides that aren't in the corner. But we want the corner to be pretty schmicko. So I've gone square, triangle, square. And then... So now I can take this and place it on this piece and then slide this down so that this corner lines up with first square and so now that's where it needs to be Ta -da! that actually worked out really well now we're going to stitch along the bottom here now i want a longer stitch length because i'm using vinyl this would also be really really nice in a leather i would think i'm also going to need the mouse so that i can continue scrolling down as we go so we're just doing one eighth. We're going to stitch, back stitch, and then back stitch at the end again. Now I'm using a dark brown thread. I could have used something contrasting, but I couldn't think of what color I wanted to use. So we're just sticking with black. So that's piece one on. Now we need to take number seven and pop that aside. And then we're going to line that up with my triangle hole. You might think I'm crazy, but I actually genuinely think this is going to work. Line that up there like so. And then we're going to stitch down that edge as well. Trim those tails. We definitely want to be trimming as we go. Right. 
And then we take piece number six. And we're going to line that one up. Here. So this one's actually pretty easy to line up. It lines up with the bottom of the other pockets. And we're going to stitch all three sides on this one. So I'm going to start here. I'm actually going to start at the top of the other one. So I'm stitching all the sides. And then down and pivot. Come along that bottom edge there. Needle down and pivot. And then back stitch when we get to there. And trim off the tails. I like it. Alright, so you can't really see, but we've now got our three card slots there. Next up is the zipper. So we're going to take your zipper. I've already put the zipper pull on. And then I've got my little zipper tabs here. So we're just going to, I'm going to, put a piece of double-sided tape a long ways. Now it says size 3 zipper tape, but I only have size 5. Such is life. I'm sure it'll still work out fine. So I'm just going to peel that backing off. And then add this onto the end of the zipper like so. If you want to, you could clip it on. I have faith in my zipper tape for the most part. But if you're new to sewing, just add clips. Add as many clips as you need. See? Oh, I've got hay fever this morning. I'm very sorry for sniffing. I can't stop them. All right, so now we're going to stitch and back stitch along these zipper tabs. And normally I would just bend that around and do the other side, but the zip is too short to do that. So, make sure you backstitch those. You have to lock those in. So now we're going to take uh, piece number four. And so I want the zip to go uh, this way. So I'm going to fold that down like so. And I believe we're stitching along here. That's what makes sense. Excellent. So you don't want to stitch the whole way. You just want to stitch the zip. And the zipper tabs. So we're going to start on a zipper tab. And sew across to the other side of the zipper tab. So then this will fold down. If you need some help to make it fold, you can add some double-sided tape, but this one's quite good. So now we're just going to fold that down and top stitch, including this edge bit. So you want to fold it down so it's nice and neat. So I'm going to start at the edge, back stitch, lock those stitches in. We're going to see all stitches everywhere. And backstitch. So now I've got this, which is actually quite cute. Next step is... Oh, we've done that. Okay. So we're going to come up here. And we're going to line... Basically line this up with this and stitch it down. So it says one centimeter, which is there. So we're going to stitch along here and back stitch. Trim the tails. This is just a big lining it up game, really. 
and then we fold this down and this bottom should now line up with the bottom of the other one like so and then I'm pretty sure we're going to stitch that down too yes we are so I'm going to start at this top edge here Needle down, pivot, and then up and back stitch. Now, a size three zipper will just stick out less than my size five that I'm using, but I have faith it'll be fine. Okay, next up. We're going to take our lining piece and put it right sides together and then I'm going to add clips all the way around. Yep, that's not a clip. So use as many clips as you want. I'm just using these clips today, no real reason. Just, you know, something different. Okay, so we want to make sure that our zipper space is down out of the way. I possibly should have stitched this a little bit lower. So in comes Scully to the rescue. I'm just going to push all of those zipper tabs and everything down so that I can squish this together along the top here. This would be why you use a size 3 zip and not a size 5, guys. Alright, like so. So what we want to do is we want to leave a gap I'm gonna leave my gap over here I think it says to leave it above the coin but I think that's oh no we'll leave it there all right so the bigger the hole the easier it is to turn but the more fiddling we've got to do when we've got to stitch it shut it's like a six in one half a dozen in the other. So now we're just going to stitch around. Get to here. Go down. Across. Back up. And continue on. Do so you want to go slowly with this? Cross. Up. And a little bit here and then back stitch and um, that's where we're leaving our gap oh and I've missed a bit here so I'm just gonna come back and re-stitch this little section all right so now we've got a gap here I'm gonna trim off some of that excess so that it's going to turn nicer. All of this. I'm using my zigzag scissors because the vinyl is much easier to cut with zigzag. It's when I've got all the layers that these scissors don't work. True simple layers like that, they act like they're normal. Okay, now turn it through.
So I'm trying to get an opposite corner so I can just bring it through here. Uh, that's not really working. So I might grab the corner of the zipper pocket and do the zipper pocket side first and just push that through. And then from there I can just pull the rest of it through. And yes, this vinyl seems to be a little bit squeaky. Alright. There we go. Like I said, the bigger the hole you leave, the easier it is to turn. You want to make sure all your corners are out. Like so. So I'm just rolling this in my fingers to make it come out like so and like that and then I've got to tuck this raw edge in so that I can sew it shut in a minute. And this is already going to give me grief, I can tell, but that's okay. Lots of clips. Like so. And clip that hole shut. Oh, there's a thread on that one. Okay. So now it just wants us to top stitch all around the edge. So we can do that. Okay. Start wherever you like. I'm going to start right here. And off I go. Around the curve. Here, up, across, down, needle down, and then up around the curve, to here, diagonally down, across, back up, and now we're to the tricky part, so we need to make sure that our zip moves out of the way so that we can stitch that hole shut. So just pull it towards the bottom and all should be pretty glorious. See? Look at that. And then trim your tails. I like it. So now we've got our insert. So we're going to take piece two and put it wrong sides up like this. And then we're going to take piece one and put it on top like so. And then we're going to take this piece and lay that on top of here. Excellent. So I've got all the pieces laid together. Now... Oh, I don't think I was supposed to top stitch the whole way around that. But that's okay. I think I was just meant to do that top edge to seal that hole. But that's okay. Ooh. What are you doing there? I've got a little pokey out bit. That's all right. So now we're supposed to stitch all the way around and join all these pieces together. I get it now. Right. So, don't... Stitch all the way around, just top stitch. So what happens when I don't read the instructions before I make something. But that's okay. So I'm going to add lots and lots of these longer clips so that I can grab everything. Now the back piece is meant to be bigger. It's designed that way so we can trim it down at the end. I believe. Lots and lots of these clips.
like so because we're not going to stitch this edge because that's going to be where our money goes so that makes more sense all right i'm going to start on the bottom edge we all make mistakes these things happen all right start on the bottom edge and i'm just going to go back through the holes i already made hopefully Actually, I'm going to go straight across here. What does it want me to do? I've got to move down. Where are we stitching? Okay, yep. So we're just going to go straight across. You're actually meant to leave a gap down that bottom bit. But I'm going to see what it looks like if I don't. I'm going to move these clips as I go and then I'm going to pull this back so that I can get to this top edge here and then lay that back down to do the corner so that we catch it like this. All right, let's see how I did. I'm going to trim all that off better in a second. So you are meant to leave a gap here, but I'm going to see what happens if I don't. And I need better, where are my final scissors? Let me, let me get some better scissors. Okay, scissors are got. So now I'm just going to follow the edge. I'm just lining up the edge of the inner piece, so piece number two, and then trimming it down to match. I really like that she did that. That makes that much, much simpler. So even though I stitched all the way around, that is actually still quite a nice wallet. Uh, definitely don't use size five zipper. Mine's sticking out just a little bit too far. As you can see, the size 5 is quite large there, but a size 3 would be much, much nicer. But that turned out really cool, actually. I quite like it. So there you go. That was a quick project. That took, what, 20 minutes? Not including cutting, of course, but still. And that's the first time I've ever done that. So there you go. I like it. Uh, links to the pattern are in the description. And if you want to join my Facebook, that is also in the description. But yeah, I think we're all done. Alright guys, see you later.